Today, a very personal message from me to you. Probably one that's long overdue, but I've been so busy, this is the first chance I've had to even shoot this video. I hope you get a chance to watch it. Let's talk about it. Hi, everybody. My name is Sandy Boucher. I'm Red Thunderbolt Woman of the Loon Clan, a proud member of Zane River First Nation in Treaty 3 Territory in Northern Ontario. And there is a really good chance you're watching this video right now because of Buffy St. Marie. You probably went on YouTube or went on Google and wanted to try to find out what the heck was happening. And you came across one of my videos. And if you're watching this one, that means you probably found another one of my videos and another. And maybe you were one of those amazing souls that decided to subscribe to my channel. I am doing this video today because I want to acknowledge that as horrific and painful as the revelations around Buffy St. Marie were, that revelation changed my life. I have had my YouTube channel for many years and no one was finding it. And because I was vulnerable enough and open enough to share my pain with the world, so many of you found me, and I thank Creator every single day for that because my life changed because of the people that found my channel. Now, every single day, I'm commenting on comments. I get emails, and yes, I even get phone calls from the most amazing people. Elders have called me to thank me for my videos, and in my world, that is always a confirmation that I'm doing the right thing. Yes, I still have an index card. What I really wanted to thank you for because of your comments is the reality that you showed me I can make a difference. You showed me that the way I talk and the way I act and my Muppet personality can help educate people and help non-Indigenous meet us in the middle. That I can help you understand how challenging some things are for us so that you don't misunderstand why we struggle. You showed me I have a voice. That I don't have to play small to be safe. That I can be passionate and be honest and be open and there's a whole bunch of you open and willing and interested in listening. And that is not anything that a marginalized person would ever take for granted. You showed me I can help. And that I do not take lightly. And I think the biggest lesson of all was you showed me to stop playing small, that it was time to stand on the rooftop, metaphorically, of course, and to share my truth, not to attack, not to condemn. We have enough people willing to do that. But to share my message because I believe in you, whether you're Indigenous or non-Indigenous watching this, I believe in you. If you're Indigenous, I know how hard it is, and I be willing, I can guess at the challenges you face. You are bigger than your challenges. I know that because Creator put you here. And if you're not Indigenous watching this, thank you for being the type of non-Indigenous person that many Indigenous still don't believe exist. 
the kind that do want to make a difference, that do want to understand who can hear Indigenous voices. Because again, that's not something we take for granted. Thank you for asking your questions. Thank you for taking the time to comment. Thank you to those that have joined my membership. Thank you for those that have jumped on my email list. And thank you to those who have subscribed and show up day after day to watch and comment on my videos. I have had the most career-affirming, life-changing experience on YouTube in the last couple of weeks. And it's not that my story has changed. It's that it was time and we were both ready for you to hear it. And I see your comments because your voice is just as important. And I love meeting you here on the bridge. So I didn't want another day to go by without acknowledging that. There was so much pain in the whole Buffy story. There has been so much pain in so many experiences for Indigenous people. But maybe this is the generation where we truly start building that bridge. That is my hope. That is my work. That is what I strive for every single day. And I'm thrilled to death that you are here striving with me. I love you. Until tomorrow. Bye-bye.